Well, I just gave a talk on social network sites, their popularity, and some of the issues that they raise for academia. Um, first off, I gave an overview of the um, uh, extent of social networking sites online. It turns out there are a large number of them and they do vary by country. Uh, Facebook is obviously the most uh, well-known worldwide and tends to be the first or second site that's most popular online. But in other countries, uh, sites such as the Contact in, uh, in Russia, uh, Maktoub in uh, the Middle East and uh, High Five over in Japan are just as popular if not more popular. But all of them seem to share a single focus on the friendship relation, how people create friends and manage their content through friends. And now this is an interesting and new issue for social relationships, primarily because most of the content that we share with other people before social networking sites was either uh, publicly done or done directly to a specific individual, but now it's done to an audience. So the question is for me, as a social scientist, how is that audience understood by an individual and what can we learn about that audience? I gave examples of uh, social network diagrams that we use in order to map out the different audiences on, uh, on these sites. And on Facebook, it tends to be a collection of individuals from a person's life history. So you'll see a, a, a dense cluster of friendship relations from high school, a cluster from uh, co-workers, or a cluster from uh, uh, friends right now. And this, this single cluster uh, works together as, uh, as the core audience for an individual. So I discussed how this audience may not be the most ideal audience for some content and how it leads to tensions for, uh, for this content, such as people complaining about work or talking about past relationships and issues of cyberstalking. One of, the, uh, one of the interesting notions about uh, this, uh, this group online is that it does seem to be slightly different from the notions of offline social networks that we have. In general, we tend to think about our networks or our personal networks as being sort of uh, fragmented by context. So my work friends are over here and my high school friends are over here. But yet online, because the notion of a friendship is such a thin connection, uh, such a flimsy one if you will, uh, that these groups actually tend to be linked together and people tend to find uh, very surprising connections between individuals that they didn't know were already there. The other interesting thing about them is that there does seem to be an intense pressure to befriend other individuals online and it, it's very difficult to uh, conveniently or to safely say, um, say no to other people. And as a consequence, friendships tend to uh, balloon online larger than the sort of networks that we're used to offline. So past work in social science have tended to organize itself around the notion of a collapsed context. And so now present work in uh, social science and in computer science has been a lot in how do we rebuild context on these sites. So now that we know that it's made up of all these different sites and now that we know that it's giving uh, trouble to people to manage networks of this size, uh, re a lot of work is actively looking forward to how to put that context back in. How do we have a social network for our family? How do we have a social network for our friend ties? And the state of the art now is articulating the different models and strategies for doing this, but it's not to the point where it's very easy for people to do this uh, and sort of uh, products or solutions or theories are ready to be put out there into the wider world. But that's exciting because that makes this an active uh, area of research and one that I look forward to seeing more insights in.